Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam. Look at the corner, and you'll see the action is already taking place. Wasting no time, Whiskey Marie has him in the figure four neck lock. And now, firing off with forearm strikes to the face. And look at that, a figure four, a figure eight now. My goodness, she is wasting no time. The tough gal, Whiskey Marie, is bringing the fight to Chainsaw Bloody Butcher, two of the toughest competitors on the SWF roster. The Chainsaw, the tough gal. Not afraid to face anybody. They know what it's like to face adversity. They know what it's like to rise to the challenge, to take on any and all challenges. That's why they are perfect competitors. Incredible choices of entrance for this SWF Heroic Championship Battle Royal. The winner of this battle royal will be crowned the first ever SWF Heroic Champion. And these two, even though they're starting off, I think they have a high probability of walking out as the inaugural SWF Heroic Champion because they have the tenacity, they have the ruthless intensity that they need to survive, to withstand, to make it to the end. Look at that! Whiskey Marine takes him down! The two count already! Only a couple minutes into this match, and she was able to score the two count. Folks, if you're new to the SWF, you're in for an incredible showing tonight. For the new secondary, brand new championship. Oh my god, the Bloody Butcher with the skewers! Just stabbed her right in the head! My god! As I was trying to say, if you're new to the SWF, you're in for an incredible showing! Here at the Super Wrestling Federation, we have no count outs. We have no disqualifications. We have a policy here that we call send the fans home happy. We don't want any shenanigans. We don't like DQ endings. We don't like count out endings. We think those are stupid. We think they're overplayed. No one, no one likes them. No one enjoys them. So we want to make sure that we always leave the show with definitive winners. And look at this. These two are acting like winners right now. They're taking each other to the extreme. They're both busted open. You can see that they are lacerating all over the mat. They are painting that canvas red. Back and forth contest between the Tough Guy Whiskey Marie and Chainsaw Bloody Butcher. Oh, looks like five minutes has passed. Murder Wasp. The King of the Sting, Murder Wasp, is the third competitor of the eight in this match. We only know of four entrants. Well, now we have another one, Killer Wa or Murder Wasp here. Oh, Thrill of the Kill! Thrill of the Kill! Locked in on the Bloody Butcher! Interrupted! And now, he's got him locked in with that submission hold, the Dragon Sleeper submission. But the Bloody Butcher escapes. The four that have been named. Whiskey Marie. The Bloody Butcher, Blue McNulty, and Danny Diamond. And now we see that Murder Wasp has joined. Eight competitors will enter in five minute intervals. Elimination style, pinfall submission, critical knockout. You're not gonna get eliminations by count outs. You're not gonna get eliminations by disqualifications. No holds barred. Anything and everything is legal. You want to bring in weapons, you can. You want to poke in the eyes, you can. You want to claw someone's eyes out, you can. You have to do anything and everything it takes. You have to rise to the occasion. Do something amazing. Anything that you do in, you, in this match, you have to dominate. Because if you want to walk out as the SWF Heroic Champion, you have to be dominant. Wait a second here. Oh, the full Nelson slam. Oh, and a cutter to follow, courtesy of the Murder Wasp. Murder Wasp brought in by his tag team partner, the Killer Wasp. Oh! Forearm strike to the back of the head of the Bloody Butcher. We've got three competitors in so far. We're going to have a total of eight entrants in this SWF Heroic Championship Battle Royal. Beautiful double arm pile driver by Whiskey Marie. Oh, a 2.9! So close to elimination! Two competitors down, one still on his feet. He's picking up Whiskey Marie and slams her head right into the mat. Look at this submission hold by the Bloody Butcher. Blood stains everywhere. Blood, sweat, tears, passion pouring out of their pores. 
Oh, here we go, the Danny Diamond! One of the three of the four that were named. Oh my god, the bloody butcher pulled out skewers and stabbed the face of the murder wasp! My god! Danny Diamond working away on the tough gal Whiskey Marie. Murder wasp working on the bloody butcher. My god! Three of the four competitors are lacerating. They are painting the canvas red. This is a bloody battle! Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to be the first ever SWF heroic champion. And if you want to be a champion, you've got to be heroic. You've got to fight anybody that gets in your way. No matter where they're from. No matter how much experience they have. Oh, Tough Gal Whiskey Marie has been submitted. She is the first eliminated. That stretch muffler submission hold was too much for her. And now she's out of here. That's our first elimination of seven that we're going to see tonight. Drop to hold there by the Murder Wasp. Beautiful. Wait a second here. Oh, Murder Wasp interrupting the Bloody Butcher with that submission hold. Beautiful maneuver there by Danny Diamond. That back heel kick. Uh-oh. What does the Murder Wasp have in mind here? Oh, my God. What the? Oh, my God. He goes flying. For some reason, the Bloody Butcher interrupted that pinfall. What an incredible, dangerous, high-risk maneuver there by the Murder Wasp. Shoulder tackle there by the Bloody Butcher taking down the Hidden Gem Danny Diamond. Oh, oh my goodness, the buzzsaw kick. Almost kicked his head off. Any harder, his head would have flown off his neck back into the third row. Would have landed some poor kid's popcorn. Drop kick to the knee. My goodness, Danny Diamond showing why he is the hidden gem. Going off on everybody. Knees, kicks, anything and everything that he can pull out of his arsenal. Oh, we saw this before. Mongolian chops there by the Bloody Butcher. Oh my god, the testicular claw! Everything is legal, folks! We said it from the beginning. There are no rules, no holds barred. Anything and everything goes. The Bloody Butcher making sure to take full advantage of that ruling the testicular claw again oh my goodness wait a second magnificent mandy enters the battle royal magnificent mandy joins the fight goes right after the bloody butcher will magnificent mandy walk out tonight as the first ever super wrestling federation heroic champion There are blood stains all over the ring. I believe we're going to make full use of our medical staff here tonight. Almost every competitor that has entered this battle royal thus far. Look at that front flip attack there by, by Magnificent Mandy. Going off on Danny Diamond takes him down. The Murder Wasp. Being thrown into the ropes there by the Bloody Butcher. The Bloody Butcher with the skewers stabs Danny Diamond in the face. My God. What kind of man brings skewers to a fight and stabs someone in the face? What kind of sick, demented human being does that? Wait a second. The Bloody Butcher has been eliminated. That's two eliminations so far. The number one and number two entrant into this SWF Heroic Championship Battle Royal have been eliminated. Whiskey Marie is gone. The Bloody Butcher is gone. Right now it's Danny Diamond, Magnificent Mandy, and Murder Wasp. We still have three more competitors. The only one that we know of is Blue McNulty. The rest are mysteries. But we don't know who's coming in what order. We're learning at the same time that you're learning, folks. That's what makes this fun. That's what makes this exciting. What a strong kick there by Danny Diamond. Oh, knee to the back of the head of Magnificent Mandy. Oh, beautiful stunner jawbreaker there by Magnificent Mandy taking down the murder wasp. An Irish whip to Danny Diamond. He collides into her, falling down. Drop toe hold there by the murder wasp. Picking up Magnificent Mandy. Beautiful left strike right to the face of the murder wasp. Looks like those two are trying to do a two-on-one. But she manages to escape the clutches and now locks in the figure four leg lock. Danny Diamond is lacerating everywhere. His face is completely covered in red. All over his face and chest, he looks like a strawberry. Oh, kick to the back of the head. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, the wicked Jack Lantern. Is this guy bringing tricks or treats? I don't know. But look, he's bringing in a sledgehammer. My God. I think he's bringing in the tricks. He's bringing in the weapons, taking full advantage of the send the fans home policy enacted by the rock by the referee and Jack Lanther just spit fire into the face of the murder wasp Jack Lantern showing absolute barbaric activity bringing in a sledgehammer spitting fire into the eyes of his opponents this man is willing to do anything to win and that is exactly what defines a hero someone that's willing to do anything Someone that'll stand up to anybody, no matter how big they are, no matter how strong they are, no matter the odds, you stand up, you put your fear aside, and you feed the bravery inside you. Going for the pin now. One, two, and only a two count. Magnificent driver! Oh, but the rope break nullifies the pinfall. My goodness, I think everybody in this match has an incredible chance of walking out as the first ever SWF Heroic Champion. Submission hold being applied to Magnificent Mandy by the Murder Wasp. Discus clothesline attempt there by Jack Lantern misses, but then he goes for a powerbomb. Nullified by the rope break. Spinning neck breaker by Magnificent Mandy. Now going for the figure four leg lock. Drop kick to Jack Lantern who is drop kicked out of the ring by the hidden gem Danny Diamond who turns his attention. Oh, but he shouldn't have turned his back because Jack Lo Oh, Jack Lantern brings in another Slade's hammer and just cracked Mandy over the jaw with it. How she's not knocked out, how she's still alive is beyond me. Any normal human would be dead with a sledgehammer to the head. Jack Lantern with a sledgehammer over the back of the head of Danny Diamond. My God, this guy is one sick son of a gun. I don't think Jack Lantern is human. He's a living, walking, breathing embodiment of, Holly of Halloween. This is as scary as it gets, folks. These guys are willing to do anything it takes to walk out the champion. They don't care if they have to kill their opponent. Danny Diamond, I believe, was just eliminated. Yes, Danny Diamond was eliminated by the murder watch. And as he leaves, another enters the game changer, Harriet Harlem. I believe she's number seven. We've got one more, which means Blue McNulty will be coming out after her. And then we'll have every single competitor in this battle royal. Magnificent Mandy going off on Jack Lantern, who in my opinion is the most dangerous competitor in this match. He's spitting fire. He's hitting people in the head with sledgehammers. He's dropping power bombs left and right. This guy has absolutely no mercy to give anybody as he drops Magnificent Mandy on her head with that reverse tube tilt pile driver. Spinning fire but misses. Thrill, oh my god! Spit fire to the eyes of the murder wasp. Jack Lantern is going off like a dragon, spinning fire left and right into anybody that's foolish enough to stand in his path. I think these three need to band together and get Jack Lantern out of here. He may not be the biggest cat in the fight, but he's definitely the most dangerous. He's spinning fire. He's swinging sledgehammers. Oh, right to the eyes of Harry Harlem. He spits on fireball. Oh, he gets her again. My God. She may not walk out the same woman that she walked in as. Harry Harlem goes for the pin on Mag um, Magnificent Mandy there. My goodness. Imagine Jack Lantern walking out tonight as the SWF Heroic Champion. That would be the embodiment of this new championship and everything that it stands for. Wait a second here. Murder Wasp has been eliminated by Harriet Harlem. Right now it's Jack Lantern, Harriet Harlem, and Magnificent Mandy. We're still awaiting Blue McNulty who should be out in just a moment. Magnificent Mandy throws Jack Lantern like he's yesterday's garbage. Now focusing her attention. But wait a second. Looks like... Oh! Double knees to the stomach. Oh, no, no, no. Jack Lantern's got that sledgehammer again sliding. Clothesline there by Harriet Harlem, who now throws Jack Lantern into the corner. Magnificent Mandy, the recipient of a bulldog, gets her head driven into the canvas. Jack Lantern picking up Magnificent Mandy, hits her across the face with a sledgehammer, and then across the back to Harriet Harlem. 
My god, Jack Lantern showing no mercy. And now it's time for Blue... Wait a second, that... That's Luigi Calzone! Lu Luigi Calzone's not in this match! Wait, what the hell is he doing in here? Blue McNulty is supposed to be the... Luigi Calzone's not in this match! He lost to Blue McNulty! Blue McNulty defeated Luigi Calzone to become an entrant in this battle royal! I... I don't understand this! He's not a competitor in this match! He literally lost the qualification match. Luigi Calzone is not scheduled to be in this match. Where, where is Blue McNulty? Oh, wait a second. I think something is afoot here. We recently saw the attitude change of Luigi Calzone. We saw the debut of his cousins, the Calzone cousins, and they've been wreaking havoc, havoc ever since they made their, made their presence known here at the SWF. I, I think something is up here. Blue McNulty is the guy that beat Luigi Calzone. Now suddenly he's missing? And where are Luigi Calzone's goons anyway? I think something's up here, folks. I think something happened to Blue McNulty, and I think this son of a gun took his spot in the Battle Royal. Oh my goodness. As soon as I get an update on Blue McNulty, I'll be happy to address and let you fans know but right now, it appears that Luigi Calzone is the number eight slot. I don't know if this was approved by officials or not. I have not been told this is not a part of the scheduled programming, but it seems that this is the way things are going to go. Anything and everything can happen here on Saturday Night Power Slam. One of these four competitors will be the first ever SWF heroic champion. Will it be the undisputed ace Luigi Calzone, the wicked Jack Lantern, the game changer Harry Harlem, or the role model Magnificent Mandy? Take a look, folks, at these four faces. It's the last time you're going to see all of them without one of them holding this championship in the history books. Look at that stretch by Magnificent Mandy on Jack Lantern, but was interrupted there by Harry Harlow, who's now being taken down by Luigi Calzone. Harry Harlem is one of the most hard, hardest working competitors in all of the SWF. She's challenged for the world title before against the man she just attempted a pinfall on, Luigi Calzone, but was unsuccessful. Perhaps she'll have better luck tonight going for the SWF Heroic Championship. Magnificent Mandy has been with the company since day one. Imagine what it would do for her career, her fans, if she leaves tonight as the SWF Heroic Champion. Imagine for everyone that looks up. Oh my God, Jack Lantern! The Magnificent Driver drove Jack Lantern's head onto that sledgehammer and he's been knocked unconscious. Karma is a bitch, folks. He brought those sledgehammers in and he just got his head slammed on top of it and now he's knocked out. The critical knockout Jack Lantern is knocked out courtesy of Magnificent Mandy. That means it's down to three. Luigi Calzone, Magnificent Mandy, and Harry Harlem. One of these three is walking out the Super Wrestling Federation Heroic Champion. Who will win the Battle Royal? Oh, Magnificent Mandy just had her finisher stolen by Luigi Calzone. He hit Magnificent Mandy with the Magnificent Driver. This guy has no shame in his game. This guy has gone down a dark path. His eyes are as dark as coal. His soul is all but gone. This man has sold his soul to the devil. His heart it's, it's shrunk three sizes, folks. This is not the same Luigi Calzone that won the SWF World Championship from the barbaric bastard Von Stott. This is not the same Luigi Calzone that won the title to help save his parents' pizza business. This is not the same Luigi Calzone that inspired young men and women to reach for the brass rings to become professional wrestlers when they grow up. This guy, ever since losing the SWF World Championship, has become cold, isolated, dark. Distant. Disconnected. I don't know who he is anymore. And quite frankly, I don't think I want to know. Now he brought in his cousins. The Calzone cousins. Frankie and Tony Calzone. He's got henchmen. He's got his family helping him do his dirty work. And I think they had something to do with the disappearance of Blue McNulty. I think they had something to do with him not being in the Battle Royal. And he 
earned a position in. He qualified and he beat that man, the undisputed ace, or so he calls himself, Luigi Calzone. And right now, he just almost got pinned there by Harry Harlem. Wait a second, Luigi Bomb! But interrupted by Harry Harlem with that big boot to the lower back. Magnificent Mandy fighting back with all her might. Multiple strikes takes down Luigi Calzone. Drop kick but does not connect. Harry Harlem picks up Luigi Calzone trying to catch her breath. Magnificent Driver! Drop toe hold. Wait a second. Beautiful moonsault by Harry and Harlem. Magnificent Mini go to the high risk district and connects with precision with that diving elbow drop. Uh oh. An unexpected double team here. Double power bomb by Calzone and Harlem. Bow and arrow lock applied. Magnificent Mandy tapped out, I believe. She was almost saved. Wait, I'm not quite. I think she's been eliminated, but Calzone is still attacking her. The referee rang the bell. I, I don't quite know what happened. I believe... I believe she tapped out. She's down. I, I think she's been eliminated, but Luigi Calzone still continues. Okay, there she goes. She's leaving the ring now. That bow and arrow lock. As soon as it was applied, she was tapping out. It must have been too much pain on her back. Oh, that son of a bitch, Luigi Calzone! No! No! Luigi Calzone! You can hear the roar of the crowd. They're booing. They're throwing trash. The crowd is upset. The SWF Heroic Championship. No. This is tainted. We can't take this back. Luigi Calzone was never even supposed to be in this match. Luigi Calzone, you son of a bitch! You weren't supposed to be in this match! I don't know what kind of strings you pulled! What kind of backstage damage you may have done! I don't know what happened here. This man did not qualify! He lost to Blue McNulty! This should be Blue McNulty! That should be the SWF heroic champion right now! But somehow, some way, by some unexplained phenomenon, the undisputed ace Luigi Calzone made his way into this battle royal and now he is the SWF heroic champion this son of a bitch must be proud of himself this was supposed to be a huge thing for the SWF we brought in a secondary championship the fans were excited we waited so long for this battle royal and this guy I don't know what he's done but this is not the same man that we used to look up to. This is not the same man that had a proud reign as the second ever SWF World Champion. Whether you like him or you hate him. With that uproot German suplex with the bridge pin on Harriet Harlem. The undisputed ace Luigi Calzone is the first ever SWF Heroic Champion. The fans are disappointed. I'm disappointed. But it appears that the reign of Calzone has returned. But this time, it's with a new, dark, cold, different Luigi Calzone. As much as it pains me to say this, I don't like how this has gone down. This was a great match. The ending is unfortunate. I think he has tainted history here at the Super Wrestling Federation. We can't go back. We can't change time. We can't change history. What's done is done, and we can only move forward from here. With regret and anger in my veins, congratulations to the undisputed ace, Luigi Calzone, for winning the SWF Heroic Championship Battle Royal and becoming the first ever SWF heroic champion.